Hi, I'm Nick Bonner with TreeStuff.com. In this video, we're gonna cover small pulleys, micro pulleys, accessory pulleys, whatever you wanna call them. So we have kind of the, the history of, of micro pulleys here. And we'll start with your venerable CMI purple pulley. Uh, this is one of the most affordable pulleys on the market. You see this on countless people's split tails, lanyards. These are used for small rigging, uh, all sorts of stuff. It's a very basic bushing style pulley. Right? It has a half inch capacity. You see nylock nuts on the outside here and bent uh, side plates. This can be used to mine certain types of prussics and is very, very multifunctional. The notch version of a similar style pulley here, uh, this has a bearing. Um, it also has rivets uh, in place of the bolts. So a uh, similar style, uh, a little smaller and a little more refined. Uh, very nice pulley. Uh, we're gonna talk here about fixed side plate pulleys. So here you see an inexpensive CMI version. This has two fixed side plates, a rotating sheave, and a uh, becket down here at the bottom. This becket is non-load bearing. That's an important designation. Uh, the side plates on these pulleys don't rotate, so uh, these are limited by the clearance here, uh, as well as by the sheave here. So this is for a half inch capacity. This is a nice basic pulley uh, when you're looking for something very simple. Uh, here in the center, we have an assortment of DMM pulleys. Uh, these are like everything that DMM, DMM makes fantastic. Uh, the Pinto pulley stands for pulley I need to own. Um, so the pulley I need to own or Pinto is in two sizes. Uh, it comes in a variety of colors. This is your regular Pinto and your Pinto rig. You have a half inch capacity versus a 5 8 inch capacity. These are both hot forged aluminum fixed side plates that do not move. Uh, one of the big differences and what makes these special are the rated beckets. Uh, like all of the surfaces, they're very smooth. You can sew, splice, or knot cord onto here. Uh, that can be useful in all sorts of custom setups, mechanical advantage. Um, a ton of different stuff. These are really super nice. They're incredibly rope friendly. Uh, you can splice or sew or tie rope to each of these individually or through the center of it. Uh, if you use these in any loop function, you wanna make sure you have a spacer. Uh, there are different size spacers for both the regular Pinto and the Pinto rig. Uh, these come in a lot of colors. Don't confuse them. If you're unsure about which one you're using, just look at it. It says, um, and, and it's pretty easy to tell. The next thing on the list here is the hitch climber pulley. Uh, there's a new version of this coming out soon. Uh, we don't have that. That'll be called the hitch climber eccentric. Uh, and we'll have a video on that as soon as it's out. So if you're watching this and it's a little after the published date, definitely check that out as well. But the hitch climber pulley was the first pulley to offer three style, uh, three attachment points. There were Mickey Mouse style pulleys, uh, which have become a little outdated. Uh, since the release of this. This is a swinging side plate. Uh, it's connected and held in place like other swinging side plate ones with a carabiner. Uh, this is primarily used for hitch tending. It can be used in split tail or closed climbing systems. It can also be used in a lot of advanced rigging, rescue, um, and, and a, a lot of stuff like that for SAR and things like that. You can use it in carriages. Uh, use the different holes for all sorts of stuff. What really makes this special is that when you use it in a hitch tending setup, the different hole connections allow you to put everything in a nice, neat package. Uh, this has been emulated, copied, whatever. The standard original hitch climber, best micro pulley on the market. Uh, you can use it for pretty much everything and this is definitely my pick uh, and everyone else's too. It's the best selling micro pulley, very popular. Um, I referenced the Mickey Mouse styles. These are available from multiple vendors. This is a Stein one or ISC, uh, much the same. The two holes have simply been outdated or outmoded by the three hole options. One thing worth noting about this is it has a slightly bigger clearance, which will allow a standard barrel uh, on a triple action carabiner to get through there. Um, the last thing here is the ISC float itch. Uh, you may notice some resemblance. Uh, this is similar in function and design to the hitch climber pulley. There are some uh, feature advantages uh, per se uh, to having this here. Uh, ISC educates us and tells us that it allows better alignment. Uh, that's up to you. Um, this is offered in both bearing and bushing models, similarly to the hitch climber. 
Uh, one nice thing about this float itch is that the bushing models are designated by these uh, dots here, as opposed to the bearing models, which are a different symbol. The hitch climber pulleys aren't designated between bearing uh, or bushing except by color. And if you don't know that the light blue ones are the bearing ones, you're kind of out of luck. So um, a lot of great options here. All of these pulleys are rated at a minimum of 23 kilonewtons or 5,000 pounds. So they're all incredibly strong and they'll all get the job done. Uh, it's just which one you need depends on which job you're trying to do. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, shoot us an email, info at treestuff.com or uh, these and everything else, 7% off with the coupon code online every day. Please stay safe. Thanks again.